So tell me the story behind a song like I Alone. And also, we talked about Lightning Crashes. I know you've told that story a bunch. But so it's a real spontaneous uh, you know, stream of consciousness kind of approach to my writing. I've never really been a guy who sits around and says, okay, I have a concept about a story, about a guy, about a... That's not how I do it. I'll just let it let it flow. Like Lightning Crashes, the context that we were talking, you know, after Mental Jewelry, you know, we got in Buzzbin. We were like gold. We number one on college radio. I didn't know we were going to get any bigger than that. Yeah. I had no expectations. You were just that. a high school band. Yeah, no expectations. Yeah. And after the Mental Jewelry record was finished, they said, okay, now do it again. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I didn't, this was my whole life to this point. How the hell am I going to do it again? And then I really had to get serious. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know, I'm at a blank. We might have had a couple songs. And Bob Dylan came to my mind. I just thought, you know, what if I just don't think about melody right now or don't think about a song and just start telling a story? What would it be? And I just went, I just put my hand on an F and just said, lightning crashes. You know, a new mother cries. It was a birth. Just came to you. Just yeah, like it just that. came to me. And then I just followed that. I didn't have a chorus for like weeks, but I kept going back to it. And I remember when I, and I just jumped on the, I just jumped on the C instead of let it yeah. play out on the F. And I feel like I cracked the code. And then everybody was like, yeah, that's a nice song. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a B-side. <laughs> that's going to be a B-side. That's too damn long, Ed. <laughs> it's five minutes. It'll never be a single. Never. <laughs>